drawing on it and I... <laughs> I'm looking at it and it says... <laughs> Good morning men and women and other non-gendered folk. So today I'm going to tell you about the most, the most embarrassing thing that happened to me at school. And it was embarrassing. But not for anyone else. Because I had to conceal it. Girl, grab yourself a tea and a biscuit. Well, no, actually don't eat anything. It's probably for the best. The date is, I'm not sure. The year is, I don't know when. <laughs> and I'm in year eight. My school is a school. <laughs> what else can you say about Pretty much, like, you've got the bullies, you've got the non-bullies, you've got the pushovers, you've got loads of different types of kids, but you're quite young anyway in year eight. It's like your second year at secondary school. I oh, know, there's like 30 of us in this class, and you never mix groups. You're all in one group, and you're not mixed. Mm. It wasn't until year nine that you started going on to sets, where you were like, you're top set, you're the dunces. We had this one class which was French. Now, I always remember French class. We walked in and there was a teacher who just insisted, as soon as we walked in, to be like, Bonjour, bonjour, oh, no, 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 uh, levez-vous la main. And I was like, what's that? Raise your hand. And I'm like, why? And she was a pushover, throwing chairs at her, you know, like that kind of teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little, like, too scared to say anything, kid. You know, I was... You were a pushover. I was a pushover. She could not control the class, so then she became overly strict. Mm. Like, to the point where if someone, like, stood up, she would send them out of the class. If someone turned around to, like, ask your friend something, you were, like, put on report. She was that kind of teacher. Because she was so sick of people not abiding by her rules. She was a... So they give out the French books, and they were so dated that the kids on the front were like, they, they used to play like CDs and cassettes, and it was like, uh, J'adore les piscines. Mm. Do you enjoy les piscines? I can't speak, f I never listened, so I don't know. I can't speak you French. What you're saying. Yeah, and we're all like, What the hell's that? My kind of school as well was the kind of school where kids would have side hustles. You'd go to the kid that was selling sweets, and they'd be like, It's mm. like pound for like a toffee crisp. We exposed one child in our school for doing it because he was buying out-of-date sweets and we all looked at it. We all asked for him for a refund, but of course we didn't have a receipt so we couldn't get our money back. And I think that happens in every school, except nowadays they're not selling that. They're selling probably, you know, TikTok views or something. <laughs> I don't know, something that has purchased, not just a pack of mints. That, that was the groundwork that I needed to lie before I start telling you the embarrassing story that happened to me. So it's a boring day at school. And when I say boring, it's one of those days where you have like double maths, double physics, and French. And you want to smash your head against the AQA French book. This is how bored I used to get. Mm. The light would come through on the desk and I would take a pen. Where the sunlight would be on the desk, I would put a pen here and mark exactly, I knew exactly when the lesson was over by when the sun was moving. So I made a sundial. Oh, it, it, so like, cute. because I was that bored. Yeah, and then next to it, it's like a picture of a willy. And I had nothing else to do. <laughs> Apart from my work, I didn't want to do the work because that's boring. So as well as measuring the time with a sundial because I'm in the 1800s. I think that's really cute. It's really geeky. It is really geeky, yeah. but I think that's really sweet. I was, I was, yeah, also, as well as being bored, I turned to the girl in my class and was like, Can I buy some sweets, please? So I bought these sweets for a pound. Did you? <laughs> I bought these sweets for a pound, girl. Yeah, for that. They're like Wrigley's mints. Now, I don't know if you ever had Wrigley's mints, but they looked like little pebbles and they were like sugar free. And I was like, bashing through them as fast as I could through the lesson because I was so bored. It's what you do. It's like if someone opens a pot of Pringles, you never just have one, yeah? You eat the whole bloody pack. I'm using my sundial to check the time, listening to the Je m'appelle Francine. And I get a funny tummy and I'm like, oh God, my tummy really hurts. And it's the last 10 minutes. Now our teacher is so strict that I'm like, can I go to the toilet? She's like, no. Even a girl would be like, I need to go to the toilet. And she'd be like, no. She just wouldn't let anyone go anywhere. Because she just thought people would just go out and just meander amongst the hedges and their friends and the cigarettes. I'm sitting there. I need the toilet, girl. 
and I'm like, oh, oh, I need to fart. It's like not your conventional, like, pfft. it was like a bubble fart. And girl, when I say I followed through. <laughs> girl, I follow through bad. Oh no. But it wasn't like your conventional follow through. It was like baby food. Imagine a thicker Red Bull. So I'm sitting there in French with a pants full of baby food. <laughs> Being like, can I go to the toilet please? And she's like, no. I can see by the sundial on my desk that there's only about 10 minutes left of class. Mm, okay, so I'm like, okay, cool. I'll just sit in so my there's poop. two centimeters of shadow left. Yeah, I'm like, I'll just sit in my own until the end of class. Oh. Great. <laughs> Did it smell? No. The bell rung and I finally went to the toilet. When I say went, I was like, like, walking without moving your butt Yeah, like, kind of like John Wayne walking down the toilet, like, <laughs> everyone's like, you okay, hun? I'm like, yes, I'm fine. I just need to go to the toilet. Thank you for your concern. I get to the toilet, and now our toilets are like service station toilets. There's no loo roll anywhere. No loo roll anywhere, apart from the ceiling. Because all of the boys <laughs> yeah. used to get the loo roll like this, wet it and lob it up against the ceiling and there were just these muck balls. I got into this cubicle, no one was in the in the place, thank gosh. Turned around and just like pulled down my hands <laughs> and just was like, wow, that's an interesting colour. <laughs> yeah, because that would be the first thought. It was, it was, because it wasn't normal. I was like, wow, that's nice. I don't know why I've done this, because I've never done this, it's never happened to me in my life. But, I turn around to sort myself out. There's no loo roll. I was like... Fuck. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> then I look at my bag, and I'm like... Oh no. <laughs> I go through my bag and I find my maths book, my AQA maths book, <laughs> which is like the thick one with like loads of equations in it. Mm. Not even the blank paper book, but because yeah, I didn't even have that because they used to take in your books. I take this book, <laughs> I rip out a page from the book <laughs> <laughs> with the guy that's like, no. <laughs> like, drawing on it, and I... <laughs> Why did you just use your pants? What happens if I do it again? Um. So I, I take the contents of it in this guy, on this like, algebra book thing with this guy like... <laughs> oh. And I just fold it up and like put it in the bin and like sort myself out. Did you use your socks? Because I'm in year eight and I'm not that smart. And what is the most disposable thing that I have? This AQA maths book that I don't read. And then, and then in maths they're like, turn to page 88. And I'm like, oh, I don't have it because I used it to wipe up my poo. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I go home and I'm like, oh God, mum, I had this issue at school today. And she's like, oh dear, that's weird. No, it didn't happen for the rest of the day because I was so scared to fart. <laughs> <laughs> Never trust the farts. So that is the rule of the story, never trust the farts. But here's where it gets more interesting. <laughs> Here is where the tea is served. The next day, I have French again, okay? And once again, I'm bored. I don't know what the frick to do. I am angry and bored and worried about farting. I draw on the table where it ends and finishes. I turn to the girl and I'm like, hey, can I buy those sweets again? Because they were really good yesterday. She's like, yeah, no problem, here you go. I start popping them again. I'm like looking at the sundial and guess what happens? I fart and the same thing happens. At this point, I'm like, I'm dying. At every time at this time of day, I'm dying. I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh my God, what the hell? But luckily, I packed a spare pair of pants because I'm a smart <laughs> and I'm like, could I go to the toilet? No. I'm like, okay, I'll sit here in my own But luckily it was there. <laughs> so you trusted the fart anyway? Yeah, well no, it was like, it just came out. 
It was like, you know when you just can't hold it? I go to the toilet, change it all up, and I'm like, what the hell is happening? And I'm trying to think, I'm looking at these sweets and ingredients because I'm so bored and I don't know what the hell's happening. On the back of this packet of sweets, which is sugar free, okay, and it says, <laughs> sugar free Wrigley's mints may cause laxative effect. <laughs> Yeah, because there's a sweetener they use. Yes, and that sweetener <laughs> may cause laxative effect. And I'm like, it's the mints. Never eating them again. When I say I consumed, I consumed a whole packet of mints in French, and it works like that. So if you are ever bunged up, and you need to go to the toilet right now, consume a pack of sugar-free polos, because they will go through you quicker than a whippet. <laughs> I'm gonna let that sink in to my pants. <laughs> Your embarrassing stories are so much more embarrassing than my stories. Oh girl, I have loads of embarrassing stories of other things that happened. Girl, <laughs> I need to tell about the story about the guy that set fire to our school. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then why not click subscribe and click <laughs> like and maybe watch some other videos like this one where I describe this thing that happened to me during this thing. Share it with a friend that's always going, oh, you'll never guess what happened to me. Yeah, so that's a good message, idea. Well, it could be worse. And so yeah, 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 well, it could be worse. <laughs> also, I want to find out more about that Gracie Films woman. You know, da -na 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 -na. who is she? No. The end of The Simpsons. Who is she? I want to interview her. She is, um, Grace. Oh my gosh transforming myself into the lady at the end of the, the shush lady at the end of the simpsons Ugh. that's a funny video we're doing that you anyway are so random <laughs> goodbye